Since my arrival on Sodor, I've made a lot of friends. The steam engines who sleep at Tidmouth's sheds with me are my closest and dearest friends of all. So you can imagine how sad I was when Edward decided to move away. It all started when poor James crashed right through the back of Tidmouth's sheds. The sheds had to be fixed, so some engines had to find a new place to sleep until they were ready. I went to stay at Knapford, and Edward was invited to stay at Wellsworth Yard, which is just at the top of his own branch line. Unfortunately for Edward, he had to share a shed with Philip. Philip can be rather excitable and chatty, which meant poor Edward didn't get a wink of sleep. He was so tired, he almost crashed. That night, Philip was quiet and let Edward get a good night's sleep. A few days later, the sheds were ready for us to return to. I was so happy that the team was back together again. But that's when Edward made the decision. The decision to stay at Wellsworth with Philip. I was very upset. Edward was my first friend on the island of Sodor, and the thought of him leaving made me sad. Then I realized Edward wasn't leaving Sodor. He'd just decided to stay at Wellsworth because it's closer to his branch line. Knowing Edward was happy made me feel better. And I still see Edward when I make deliveries to Brendan Docks or when he comes to Natford Station. After Edward moved out, there were only six of us in the steam team. One berth stayed empty. Until I had my big world adventure and came home with a new friend, Nia, all the way from Africa. Tidmouth sheds were full again. Nia was a great addition to the steam team, but Gordon was still upset about Edward moving out. He asked Edward to come back. Thanks for asking, Gordon. Again. But I'm very happy at Wellsworth. Gordon just couldn't accept it. He didn't want things to change. So, imagine how he felt when Henry announced that he was leaving too. What? 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 Gordon, Henry, and Edward were the first three steam engines on Sir Topham Hatt's Northwestern Railway. They'd been the best of friends for years. How could this happen? But it was Henry's decision to move. He saw how happy Edward was being nearer to his work. Henry thought he could do the same. They say a change is as good as a rest. Henry had a change and also a good rest. <laughs> When Rebecca arrived from the mainland, we were a complete steam team again. Gordon was still upset, but he soon changed after Rebecca made him feel good about himself in front of his brother, the Flying Scotsman. Now Gordon and Rebecca are good friends. While Henry and Edward aren't in Tidmouth sheds anymore, they're still our friends. They can be spotted busily working on the railway and being really useful as always. <laughs> Hello, it's me, Thomas, the number one blue tank engine. I've learned so many new things on my worldwide adventure that I love sharing. Let's discover more.